I was rushing to the lightning field in Quemado, New Mexico, excited to finally see it. Also, a little nervous about who would be joining me in the remote cabin that night. Whoever they were, they also woke up very early on February 1st, 2017 to get a reservation. I waited five hours and I almost didn't make it. It's $150 a person early in the season and $250 each in the remaining months. Probably the recent film, Troublemakers, the story of land art, got a lot more people interested in seeing this artwork. The lightning field has existed for 40 years. I first saw an image on the cover of Art Forum magazine in 1978. 400 perfect stainless steel spikes arranged on a level patch of desert. It's a work of installation art in a secret location in the northwest corner of New Mexico. The artist had hunted for five years in a pickup truck to find the site. My explanation of the land art form is that people choose to change the landscape rather than just draw or paint pictures of it. Walter de Maria wanted only a few people to share each overnight experience. Compare this to the typical first visit to the Louvre, marching through for a couple hours to give a nod to as many of the 35,000 objects on display as possible. The cabin was collaged together from vintage settler cabins. The suggestion was to spend as much time as possible viewing the rods and surrounding scenery from every angle. Even though it was cold, one of the guests donned running gear and jogged the perimeter shirtless. One mile by one kilometer by one mile by one kilometer. You are warned that the installation is valid with or without lightning, which only occurs on an average of 30 nights per season. The alignments of each rod are insanely perfect in a Steve Jobs sort of way, within a, a two-tenths of an inch tolerance is what the three-ring binder on the cabin's dining table tells us. Exciting to catch the first glimpse as the nice rancher lady drives the big SUV through the gate. In my second walk out in the field, I aim for the fantasy-shaped sawtooth mountains. I've had a glass of wine, I sit on the ground with a lightning rod as my backrest. Imagining lightning strikes all around me. Memories of a light and space artist I worked for, Eric Orr. He may have known De Maria, or not. Kindred spirits in their quests to make the philosophy of phenomenology physically manifest. I sit on the deck for a beautiful sunset, generous cabin mates provide ample wine and exotic popcorn. We heat up the Ortega chili enchiladas left for us in the refrigerator and have a very nice meal. There's a problem with the heater. We call the caretaker Robert who comes right over to fix the problem. We ply him with wine. He was here helping to build the field in his 20s and still around after 40 years. Lives on a nearby ranch, I think. I head to bed after a quick wander under the bright stars. Waking, it is a gray, really cold morning with snow flurries. I don't feel the need to be outside. The big Chevy comes at 11 a.m. The melting snow has turned the dirt road to slick mud. <laughs> Wild ride, but our driver knows what she is doing. 
40 miles back to Cremado. A quick farewell and then I'm off to Mesa Verde, Colorado where I will drive through clouds at the top of the park. <laughs>